All right, now we're going to look at averaging. Now, the average code is a bear to type out. And there's no doubt about it. You're going to learn just as much from this video as if we don't type 14,000 lines of code. So, I'll show you where an average example is, and we can study it for this one. Uh, it's somewhere in here. So I think it's smoothing. Yeah, smoothing. So just know that there's an examples and you know sometimes I pull information from this sometimes I just you know come off the top of my head uh, but nonetheless you have to start learning how to Frankenstein some code together because we do it all the time uh, most of it you know I like typing it over and over because of the th fact of memorization but you know it's just as good to um, look at examples and try to Frankenstein them together you're going to get some out of that too. All right, so let's compile this and take a look at what it's doing. Now we don't have to do anything because A0 is the input pin for the actual um, sensor. COM7 already in use. Gotcha. Gotcha. So somewhere out here, I have uh, something reading the serial. So let's look at that. And in that case, usually what I do is I just crash out all of the Arduinos because it could have been anyone. And I'll just go back to um, smoothing. Perfect. Let's go into the serial monitor, see what happens. All right, what happens? Well, you'll see that the code is just a little neater. Like, it's not all over the board. Look at the numbers. 47, 48, 49, 50. If you can look at them real close, they're actually right in sync with each other, and they're staying that way. So this is another great way to clean up data. Okay, if I cover this up, you'll see that the numbers are staying pretty constant across a great deal of time. And now, let's see if I have this going on. So 40 when I cover it up. Maybe 60. We'll say 60. And then we have 256. Okay. And then we look up our mapping example. Okay, how did we map data? Well, we had a new command out there that says mapping. How could we Frankenstein mapping into this? Well, right now it's Let's look at this code. We get a constant integer is the number of readings times or equals 10. Okay, in other words, it's going to read it 10 times. Then after 10 times, it's going to do some math. It's going to take a total, take another total, and do that 10 times. And then it's going to average between the 10 times. So you can imagine there's so much math going on here that there's going to be a little bit of a delay between you reading it and it writing to something, right? And then it's spitting out the average. So you can see there's three things that you have to have in this, an index, a total, and an average, and an input. So it's taking the index, What's nice, some things that are really nice about, you know, using some of this code is, you know, they comment it out well. We can kind of look at what's going on here. But let's throw throw something of ours in this and see what see what we can break. Okay. 
Now, uh, let's see. We're, we're going to have to remap the value of the input. And the value here is going to be the average. Okay. And right here is the average coming out. And we're going to remap it here. Okay, um, we should put a new thing out there called mapping. So we'll put up here integer. We'll call it mapping equals zero. Just like that. Then we'll go down below and then we'll remap this data. So mapping equals map sensor value in this case it's going to be average last example was sensor value so we're going to take that and what are we looking at well Right now, we're looking at this as the same thing as what was going on last time. It was backwards, and it's really hard to read. So no value um, right now is 256, and then a value is something else, a lower number. So we're going to say 255 for this. Because when I don't do anything over the sensor, that's what I get, 255. And then what's the number that we want? Well, we can put our hand over the top of it and say 75, maybe 75. And then we're going to remap those numbers to something else, like let's say, again, 30 and 200. Just like that. Okay. Now, would we spit out average or would we spit out mapping? In this case, we're going to spit out mapping. Okay. Let's look at the data. All right. Now it's 30. And when I put my hand over it, perfect. What do those numbers look like, you wonder? 30, 255. Well, they're analog writes, okay? In my mind, they're analog writes. So an analog write, if we look at that example back in chapter two, was zero to 255, right? 0 to 255. If I put this as 0, um, I don't know if that's going to work really well because of this, but it might because of the smoothing factor that we have in the average. So in the previous example, it or previous chapter, what happened was it went and dipped into the negative regions. So this time, since it's being averaged, It's getting into the negative one, which is not that bad. That's not bad at all. And if we want to get that out of the equation, we just kind of look at these numbers and say, okay, negative one. I seen a negative four there. If I start at five, it should be zero to 200. Pretty close. And that's funny to me. It's like it wants to be a number that's quite greater than, even though it's being average. There we go. We got some zeros. Yay. So if we got some zeros, we can now do some really cool stuff with this amount of data 
coming in and writing out. Okay, so in the next example, we're going to look at taking this and writing it uh, like a pulse width modulization using this data on mapping to light an LED very nicely. All right, so let's look at that example in the next video.